How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, it is a cold, crisp morning here. It's about 28 degrees, and uh, we're going brown trout fishing for the first time this year. We had to break through a lot of ice to get through the launch, break through a lot of ice here in the canal here in Surgeon Bay, my hometown. Um, still breaking through ice, we can never even full gun it. We've almost been uh, in the canal for an hour now, so we definitely didn't get out when we wanted to, but we have a long time to fish still, and uh, the day is supposed to be a 50 degree day, so hopefully these brown trout are firing. Stay tuned, boys. Tell us what the game plan is, Alec. So, we're gonna be running some jerk baits here, guys. We got the church tackle planer boards. Absolutely loves these, these are the walleye boards. Um, we're gonna be running some rogues, some original Rapalas, um, some jointed Rapalas. So boards are set. Tell me what you're looking for, Alec. All right, so we're out here trolling for these brown trout. We're looking for dirty water and warm water. When you find the dirty water, that's where the warmest water is going to be. Um, so these fish are congregated to that dirty water line. Um, like I said, just troll shorelines. If you're casting, drive around, find that dirty water. Um, that dirty water is going to be a little warmer, and that's where your active fish are going to be. Um, and that's where the fish are actually going to filter. You won't get bit too much in the clearer water. Um, you've got to find that dirty and warmer water to find these fish. So on this cold morning, of course, I was having GoPro problems, as usual. So we did not get the first fish on camera, but Damon landed his first ever brown trout. It was a small one, but it was beautiful. All right, guys, this is a prime example of what you're looking for. We're around a bunch of rocks and giant boulders. The water temp is 36 degrees, which everywhere else it's been, it's about 35, so it's a degree warmer. We just got smoked on one of our inside boards, and it came off right away before we even get to the rod, so... I see him. Right before we landed this fish, we ran into some microphone problems, but we caught another brown trout, our second one of the day, and it was on the same color as the first one, so we are starting to put a trend together that silver was hot. Luckily, we didn't run into any more problems with the audio, so the rest of the video is back to normal. All right, guys, so when fishing's a little slow, when you're out here, this is what you do, you eat. When you're Damon, you eat two at once. Which one's better? <laughs> you take by the same time. <laughs> what do you do, bud? <laughs> All right, guys. So just a couple pointers here to help get you guys out and uh, get you guys on some brown trout if you're out after watching this video. Um, so a big thing here is obviously this is five feet of water. It might not look like it, but it is. Um, this is definitely not where the fish are. That other water that we got bit in was really, really dirty. Um, these steeper breaks are normally going to have clear water. Um, anything that's a bay or kind of um, a flat or congregated by a couple points um, to where it's not getting hit as much 
or the wind's blowing into it, that's where your dirty water is gonna be. So like I was saying earlier, definitely find the dirty water. And then um, the deepest you ever be wanna run your baits is about five feet down. All the fish that we've caught have came two to three feet down, um, right around 10 feet of water, but the deepest we're ever going is 10 feet as well with the boat. Um, normally we try to fish like anywhere from three to seven feet, eight feet, but sometimes 10 does work. Um, just all about where that dirty water line is and that warmer water. All right, guys. Well, we hooked up on a nice brown here. We picked up and uh, ran back kind of where we were this morning, where some more dirty water was. And uh, yeah, we got a nice one on the end of this end of this uh, rod here. Look at it. You can see it jumping out there. Jumping, going nuts. These things fight so hard. It's very fun fighting these brown trout. It's sunny out. This is just the best day you could ask for. This is the same exact bait that's got hit three times now. We had another one of them when we put it out. That one hasn't got touched yet, but they're liking this bait. But God, yeah, it's gorgeous out here. Can't ask for a better day. So what's the date today even, like February 18th? 22nd. 22nd, well, I'm way off. Well, that's what happens. I've been guiding walleyes the past four or five days. It's the first time we're out for browns this year. Um, Water temps right around 36, 37 degrees. The water, wa warmer water we're finding and getting these fish are fishing is right at 37 degrees. Otherwise, mostly all of it's 36. Oh, nice bro. Get some good footage of that fish down. That's cool. No! No! Oh, my God. That sucks. Well, you guys see it. That's why we call it fishing, not catching, folks. Yeah, it's a nice one, too, dude. Oh, hey, that wasn't the hot bait. That was a different one. There you go. It's a little uh, Yozari. I, I yeah. must have grabbed a bad treble. Eh? Because I changed trouble on that Yeah, one. I know. We didn't bend it. All right, guys. Well, hopefully we get some more there. A little bit of GoPro issues with my GoPro. It's not staying on. I keep saying repairing files. So I'm not getting these hits on camera for you guys like I want to. But as soon as we just lost my big one, um, we were putting back out this side. Didn't even have two of them back in. And boom, this one gets smashed on this side. So we're definitely going through some fish here soon here in a second. We're probably going to end up spinning back around and going back through that way since we hooked up with two fish in five minutes. Looks like a good fit. What is this? Yeah, it's staying down. Oh, there. Now it got pissed. Now it got pissed. Make sure your drag catch your protection. Oh, now it's pissed. Now it's pissed. <laughs> hey, what, a, what a beautiful day, guys. What a it's beautiful awesome. day. Nothing else I'd rather be doing right now. Oh, he's over here now. Yep, he's going. Oh, there he is. Dude, it's a nice one. All right. Hang on, I'll back up. Okay. Oh, dude, it's a big one. That other one is big. That one's way bigger. Heck yeah, buddy! Let's, let's oh, go, that's what baby! We come let's out here go! For. That's what we come out here for. Look at that, dude. That's a tank brown. Big brown. Big mama. Yes, yeah, sir. On the purple one. The one that I told you works good. It's one I use for casting. Old shadow wrap. 
current. Did you watch it go back? I couldn't see it. I heard it. I'm going to slow down. That's a good one, dude. Got a big one on here. On the far board, too. That thing's way out there. Right on this little rock. I knew we were in that one with dirty one. He's running at you? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's still there. He's just running at you. Oh, God. He might. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> He might be okay, but I might have to. Yeah, I just keep trying to pull him out. Hey, if you can, honestly, just here. Yep. Just real. Start backing up. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Oh, dude, it's a giant. Oh my god. Oh dude, it's a giant. Go back now. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, it's a giant. Do you want to just try not to get the board into the water? Just keep gaining, keep gaining. Oh my god, he's way over here. Let me get the board, let me get the board. Here. Alright, you're almost there, you're almost there. Yep, keep coming. Oh, 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 let go. Oh, come on. All right. No, 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 let him fight. Oh. All right. I slowed down. Got him. Got him. Dude. <laughs> Another hog, dude. All right, yes, guys, sir. here's that nice brown we just got. Look at that, gorgeous fish. We were four for eight now, lost one big one at the boat. The other ones we didn't see, but uh, yeah, we're still out here. It's about two o'clock, we don't know how much longer we're gonna stay out, but four for eight isn't too bad. All right guys, we finally seen the shore for the first time in what? Four hours, <laughs> three, four hours? But we're probably gonna call our wraps here soon. It's uh, still mid afternoon, but we're getting hungry and uh, some other things are going on in the system, so. Uh, we're gonna see if we can't squeeze out one more and then uh, call it. But once we get around this little area, I don't know how many are gonna be left over there. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was a little bit something different. I uh, filmed some brown trout videos, uh, float fishing, casting, but I have yet to film one trolling for you guys and uh, give you some tips on how I catch these brown trout trolling. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, if you guys want to get out on a guide trip for these brown trout or the trophy walleyes, um, the next month, month and a half is going to be prime for both um, all the way up until mid to end of April. So let me know and we do float trips in the river as well and uh, casting for these brown trout too. But like I said, thanks for tuning in. Um, another good day with Damon on the water. Hey Damon, thanks for coming again. Always have, always have a good time with you and uh, you crossed the brown trout off your species today. Sure did. Yep. First one and a second one and a pretty big one. So definitely going to have to come back and do it again. It's hard to keep them hooked though. That's the one thing. We went four for eight today, man. They, a couple of them, they just hit it and we look over and they're just jumping like crazy. Hopefully we got that on the GoPro. Um, they're not even taking the board back. They're actually going up away from the board. So some really cool footage for you guys. Um, and check out some other videos on the channel. And until next time, see ya.